Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. If you are new here, my name is Habiba and this is my YouTube channel Trekking Pals where I share my adventures traveling around the world. I am currently in my beautiful country of Morocco in my hometown, Safi, and I've been here for about 15 days, which is great. It's the longest I've stayed put in my hometown in a very, very long time. So it's been really nice to connect with my family, loved ones, and enjoy all the great food Morocco has to offer. Talking about food, I decided for this video to share with you what I eat in a day in Morocco. None of the meals today are planned or prepared. I don't even know what the next one will look like, except for breakfast, because it's right in front of me and I am already starving. Let's dig in. For breakfast, we've got Moroccan mint tea. This is essential. I love Moroccan mint tea and I have it at least three times a day when I am home. When I am back in the US, it's probably twice a week at best. I'm gonna have some msimmin. This is Moroccan msimmin. It's a flat bread. This is leftovers from yesterday because yesterday was a holiday here in Morocco, Eid Mawlid Nabawi, the birthday of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And so part of the celebration of uh, this holiday is making traditional breakfast. So a lot of people will make um, msimmin alongside with the a variety of other pastries and flatbreads and donuts, which I shared in my previous video. If you want to go watch it, you can find the link up here. But uh, with msimmin, you have to consume it warm. And usually uh, a lot of people prefer to have it with butter and honey. Uh, personally, I like to spread cream cheese and honey on top of the flatbread, and then I would roll it and then consume it as a mini wrap. My father is a hunter, so this is the, the game from yesterday. A bunch of uh, perdrix, I will put the name right there in, in English, but they look really good. So these are good to go, but I'm gonna work on this for a little bit here. I haven't cleaned one in a very, very long time, but when we were young, when my grandfather was also a hunter, so he would bring a lot of birds home and then we would clean them together and it was one of my fondest memories growing up. so excited for today's lunch this is sifa sifa is a moroccan dish it's semolina couscous mixed with butter decorated with the uh, almonds cinnamon powdered sugar it is so very tasty sometimes with this dish we would incorporate some sorts of meat Today, I'm trying partridge from yesterday's game. This is hunted partridge. It's usually very tasty on its own, but with the sif going to be incredible. Obviously, this dish is way too much for what I need to eat, but I cannot wait to taste it.
hi everybody i skipped dinner from the day i was filming just because i didn't feel like i needed more food but i thought i'd share with you dinner from a different day and the dinner for today is very fitting because a i'm getting a little bit sick i think i'm catching flu or a cold and two because i remember when i was younger this is the soup that we would make whenever someone is feeling sick so even if someone goes to the hospital they are out of surgery this is the go-to meal or the go-to soup and this is basically a vegetable soup it's very easy to make i always make it when i'm in the us the way it's made is very simple you pick a bunch of vegetables usually carrots potatoes zucchini green onions, sometimes parsley, leek, and you can add whatever other vegetables you want and you would boil them and then you would boil them in water with salt and pepper and then once that's ready you would mix everything in the mixer including the water where the vegetables were boiling and this makes the soup very healthy because all of the minerals and the vitamins in the water they're not going to waste you're going to be consuming them and sometimes we would incorporate some uh, seafood to add flavor or we can add some uh, cheese if you want some extra protein and you mix everything all together and it's ready to be consumed i'm very excited because i'm really feeling cold and i hope that this helps me get better for tomorrow. Thank you so much guys for watching. These are some of the meals that we consume here in Morocco. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And if you liked this video, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to make some more what I eat and what I do in a day in Morocco since I'm going to be here for a little bit longer. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon on a new adventure.